Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, most people have, most people that collect have a favorite figure that uh, that they like to army build or just buy multiples of, put them up, whatever, display them. And for some people, it is the 1986 Cobra Battle Android Trooper. I have several of these, and as a matter of fact, I just got a bunch that I need to do some restoration work on. And these will be for my personal collection. I'm not, I'm not sending them out after restoration or customization or whatever. But uh, I do have one here that I got on eBay. The photos of this figure looked like, yeah, and it's in a bubble mailer. Uh, the photos of this figure, the paint looked really good. Uh, he's just missing the accessories and the uh, emblem or the, uh, the decal on his chest. So we're going to do a little mild restoration on this one. And I'll do another video with the like paint restoration and whatnot. But this one is just going to be a parts and uh, chest decal restoration. Or it should be. The paint on this figure should be good. Let's get started here by cutting this package open. see what we have inside okay so this guy actually came with a file card and this is the orange variant of the figure and he did come with the claw so i i got this guy for about 35 bucks i think shipped so we have the bats file card here and the figure so with the figure that arm's a little loose, but the paint looks pretty good. I notice the waist appears to be a little different, maybe. The paint's a little different color. This guy may actually have had some paint restoration, but check out the tampa on the arm. I'll zoom in on that so that you can see. The tampa on the arm looks really good. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely think that there's been a little bit of paint restoration here on this part. It's a slightly different shade of orange than the, uh, than the other parts and pieces. Either that or the waist was replaced with a yellow variant. And that actually looks like what may be the case. The waist was replaced with uh, one of the more yellow looking figures. Some of the Battle Android Troopers have a yellow uh, more brighter yellow, more brighter. They have a brighter yellow paint, and some of them have a more orange paint. Uh, but all in all, this one actually looks to be in really good shape. I'll probably swap out that waist for one that matches the orange. All right, so upon closer inspection, I don't know if you can see it here in the video or not, but I can see the brush strokes on his boot. And it looks like this figure's had a little bit of paint restoration done. Uh, the waist might be a little bit different. I compared it to another figure, and it just doesn't match up. The color doesn't. This is actually one of the yellow Battle Android Troopers. And you can see the, uh, the difference between these colors. This waist is lighter than the rest of the parts on the figure, but it's not... Uh, it's not exact. So the paint's been touched up. Not a big deal for my purposes. Uh, he did come with a hand and the claw. No chest decal. And there's a, a, a really good paint on the, on the face and overall with the rest of the figure. I'm really happy about that tampo on the arm being in good shape. So what I'm going to do here, this hand, I'm going to remove that set it aside along with the claw and I have here a reproduction set of accessories this is a factory reproduction set of accessories the backpack the claw the flamethrower the gun and the hand and that's what I'm going to assemble this figure with and I'll also show you the uh, difference between this reproduction set and the original the factory reproduction hand here on the left is more of a metallic gray, whereas the factory original hand here on the right is more of a silver color. 
but it's not so bright. The difference is definitely noticeable between the two. Once you assemble these onto the figure, get it lined up here. That might be a little bit tight. Yeah, it's a little tight going on. So most of these just fit directly on the uh, post, but just for the sake of not forcing it, I'm gonna use the original hand that fits perfectly. And as far as the backpack goes, I'll, I'll stick that hand off to the side and use it in another kit. Uh, let's take a look at the gripping claw here. You can see this one's more, this uh, claw here is more gray and this one is more silver. Original reproduction. I'll assemble the backpack with the reproduction accessories. I always put the claw in the middle. I just prefer it there. It really doesn't matter. This piece I'll put over here on this side and that will go here. That way I can turn this over to the side and have it not get in the way of anything. And this backpack, as you can see, is a perfect fit for the figure. And the difference between this and an original 86 backpack is just that this one looks a little more rough. The, uh, they just, you, there's a difference in, in them when you look at them side by side. And I also have here a reproduction lenticular chest decal. Now this may require a little bit of trimming down here. I've had a couple that fit directly in and I've had a couple that needed to be trimmed a bit. And this one looks like it's going to be a direct fit without any kind of problem. So I'll, uh, I'll take this back out of here and uh, there's an adhesive backer to this. I'll peel the paper off and fix that to the chest. Peeling the paper off with the X-Acto knife, and I'm actually going to stick that to the knife. I don't want to touch it and risk compromising the adhesive. And there we go. An almost perfect fit, and if you look at this, it has the ridges. This is a plastic decal with the ridges like the original lenticular, but it does not move like the original does. And that's how you can tell the difference between those. It's just aesthetics that it looks like that. It feels rough, it has the ridges in it, but it does look cool. It reflects light in a neat way, and it's a nice addition for the figure. So we have the original hand, and then we have the re reproduction accessory kit here on the back. And as I said before, this, uh, this boot, you can see just barely noticeable are the brush strokes where they touched up the paint a little bit on this figure. And you can tell by the difference between this orange and the orange here. It looks like they didn't really do any kind of touch up or anything to the waist. I will probably go back and touch up that little belt buckle with some silver and a couple other little spots here and there. You've got a rub here on the side where the figure's arm actually rubs that, but uh, yeah, I'll touch that up. But this figure will make a great addition to my collection and look great hanging on the wall. All the joints are nice and tight, except for that arm being just a little bit loose. I might try some of the, uh, the joint tightening, uh, fix loose joints or Kiki, I think is what it's called. A friend of mine ordered some, says that it works out great. So I'm probably going to try that out with uh, some of these figures that I have. I showed you that I have this, this bag of Bats parts. I need to clean these, soak them, make sure that they're uh, all in good shape, figure out what all I've got to replace and how many complete figures I can make out of this bag here. And just as a final touch, I'm going to place this Battle Android Trooper in one of the clamshell cases that I sell with the custom card back for him. And I'll show you what this display looks like. And there we have it. 
nice looking display for loose figures to have that mint on card appeal but you can still take them out of the package for whatever purpose you have chest decal is in place fantastic looking figure to hang up on the wall of loose figures that i have and just a a look here at that wall it actually goes down quite a bit more but i've got a couple boxes that are stacked up in front of it this guy is going to hang right there. And that will be the new forever home for that battle android trooper from eBay. I've got roughly, I'm going to say 40 bucks in the figure with the reproduction accessories. So a lot of guys who watch this video may be vehemently anti-reproduction. Uh, some people feel that reproduction parts hurt the hobby. Um, you know, this stuff is getting pretty old. The plastic's getting brittle. It's breaking down. A lot of people look at it as an investment. It's not really an investment for me. It's just for my own personal enjoyment, really. I mean, everything's for sale. Of course, it has a price. But this stuff, you know, I've been collecting Joes for many, many years. And all this stuff is just for my own personal enjoyment. If, uh, if you would like more information on some of the reproduction stuff for battle android troopers and whatnot i also you can you can hit me up in the comments uh, on facebook be sure to check out the description i have a link where you can purchase action media reviews apparel and cups and things like that decals and uh, links to some groups that you can join to get in the gi joe community with me uh, you can always hit me up there on Facebook, and I think that I might end up doing a video later on uh, about reproduction, its impact on the hobby, and uh, how people perceive reproduction stuff to be. So, be sure to hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for more videos, yo Joe!